United States for Nation here with uh, senior pitcher Josh Ruiz out of San Diego, California. Chula Vista, either or. Let's just, um, appreciate you coming in for a few minutes. Uh, you've just been having such a tremendous senior year. wanted to bring you in and uh, spotlight you a little bit here. So, um, first off, uh, just talk about the year. I mean, obviously, team-wise, you guys have had the unlucky streak. A lot of one one run losses um, that just haven't gone your way. But you guys have been in the game, so that's how I look at it. Is got to take the positive out of that. You've been in all these games, but um, and then on the flip side, you're you're having a tremendous year, undefeated, great low ERA, and um, you know unfortunately you were part of that that game on Tuesday against Viterbo, eleven innings, etc. But um, just talk about I guess where you're at right now and where you see the team at right now. Well, right now it's just. Uh... You know, we've been in every game, like you said, yeah. and, uh, you know, one run losses are tough, but we're going to find a way to get those at the end of the season and make yeah. it happen. And, uh, you know, when you got an amazing catcher like Pat Roxbury behind the plate and mm -hmm. calling such a great game and handling the pitching staff the way he does, it's, right. it's just really easy on me and right. everything else we do. And, uh, like, Matt Vasquez, you know, having him on the staff is quite the help. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you guys are really pretty deep. Um, mm -hmm. You know, everybody's had some a lot of success on the mound. Um, and that's, you know, the depth goes out also out onto the field. Um, you know, talk about, I know you guys are a very cohesive unit. Um, that's what Coach Laird said many times. You guys get along great, um, a great team. Who uh, steps up when you need the leadership and when you have so many older guys? I mean, you guys have a lot of seniors on, on the squad, as always, you know, with mm -hmm. the junior college uh, turnover and such. But... Um, you know, who steps up when, when it needs to be, and is that a role of yourself having the success you've had the last two years, or how does that, how does that work out? Well, we have vocal leaders like uh, Kenny Hall and uh, yeah. Show Serrano. Sure. Those are our vocal leaders, and we got right. the quiet leaders like uh, Connor Sutton mm -hmm. and Corey DeRush. You know, right. those guys are really doing their part, and, you know, they're going to they're gonna do everything they can to, sure. to help out the team win, so very impressed with them all year. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, on a personal note, talk about your success. Uh, you know, you have definitely, like I said, you've been tearing it up. Um, game in, game out, you've had uh, great performances. Have you done anything different? Last year you were very successful, so it's not like this is brand new. Um, but just talk about what you've done this year maybe to continue to improve. Well, like I said, Pat Roxbury behind the dish always yeah. helps. And uh, when Pat Roxbury was out last year when he broke his hand, uh, Matt Emerson did a great job of stepping in. and Sure. Kid, like filling that role, he mm -hmm. did an amazing job for us. Um, but other than that, uh, I got Matt Vasquez, Jake Logan. Mm -hmm. Those guys are the guys who really do help me out. Like sure. they make sure I'm on task, and even Coach Palermo, our pitching coach, right. um, staying positive with us, making sure that I, my head's on straight, and you mm -hmm. know, making sure I'm physically and mentally prepared before for every outing. So. Right, definitely. Um, talk about your uh, your pitches. What do you what do you bring to the to the game? What do you like to use the most? Without Tipping your hat too much to opponents that might be watching this no, video, no, but um, yeah, what's your what's your favorite pitch and what's your if you have like a per se terminator pitch that you like to you know your mm -hmm. your out pitch? Uh, right now I'm throwing a fastball, a cutter, a changeup, a curveball, and a sinker. Okay. So I have a variety of pitches yeah, in yeah. different directions. Sure. And, uh, you know, against the turbo, I just had all of them working that day, right. and Pat did a great job mixing them up and keeping mm -hmm. hitters off balance. Um, you know, but my out pitch has got to be my changeup. You know. Sure. Two strikes, it's it's no surprise that I feel confident throwing that pitch. 3-2, right. oh, 2 anytime. Sure. Pretty much throwing that. So Yeah, definitely. Um, looking ahead to um, this weekend, you pitch on Tuesday, should be available to go again on, on Sunday against uh, um, Mount Mercy. Um, talk about what you're, what, what do you do between, you know, those five days? What's a, what's going on with the, a pitcher in the four days that you're off before the fifth day? Well, immediately after insane. starts, I, I do like to get in the weight room, move around, and sure. get the shoulder loose. And the athletic trainers have done an amazing job keeping me healthy. Sure. So I'm always in there. You know, Abu's always there, right. available for me whenever I need him. He always drops what he's doing. And, and when he's not available, Chad and Josh fill that role amazingly. Sure. And I appreciate it. every time I get in there, they always seem to drop what they're doing and find time for not just me, but all the athletes yeah. we yeah. have here. They do an amazing job. So yeah. um, just a lot of time in the training room, a lot of time in the weight room, sure. running, uh, you know. Coach Palermo, like we have these papers that we go over and, you know, scatter reports and sure. everything we need to do to find us to be successful. Definitely, definitely. Um, looking ahead to this weekend, Mount Mercy, they've got a new coach this year, um, struggling a little bit, but as Coach Laird's mentioned to me many times, um, and it's not a cliche really with the, with this league, 
anybody can beat anybody, I think, in this league right now. Um, what are you going to key up on against Mount Mercy, or have you guys started thinking about that yet? I mean, I know it's Thursday, but mm -hmm. um, you know, what are you what are you prepping for them? Uh, well, we're just going to try to prepare ourselves today during practice and just take it one day at a time. And then sure. when we get to closer to the weekend, we're going to you know buckle down and right. we're going to try to take four games away from them. Sure, because you know, we've got Matt Vasquez on the mound. I think Tyler's available. Martinez, sure. also southwestern guy. Yeah, um, you know, it's just about us executing. Sure, you know what I mean. So. We're hoping that we get it all together. Yep, definitely. Um, I think we probably covered about, just about everything as far as baseball, so we can get right into the, the, the personal stuff that I like to talk about a little more anyhow. Um, ready for it? Yeah. All I'm right. Good. Uh, nickname? Uh, J-Roo. J-Roo, okay. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, no real reason to look into that. No, anymore. no. <laughs> uh, Why did you choose William Penn? Um, well, I was recommended from my uh, Southwestern coach, okay. uh, along with um, Robert Fiacchio. He's also yeah. from San Diego. He's from Mesa College in mm -hmm. our conference. And uh, Tyler Martinez and right. J.P. Rios were all in San Diego County. Sure. And uh, I came here. I met up with Tyler. But the reason why I picked it personally was uh, my catcher last year, Tony Alvarez. Yeah. He came out here, and I really wanted to work with him. And, sure. you know, unfortunately, I broke my hand my first year out here. Right. I don't know if you remember that. But yeah. it's a tough year, and, uh, you know, but I love, I love being here. Yeah, yeah, just bounce right back, and yes. like I said, it's been uh, two very successful years for you. Thank you, thank you. Um, describe, and you can work with either Coach Laird or Coach Palermo, since he's the pitching coach, or do both, but describe your coaches in one word. Uh, for Coach Laird, it'd be experienced, and uh, for Palermo, it'd be easygoing, just yeah. such an easygoing guy. Sure. Um, if you were a superhero, who would you be? Ooh, I'd have to say uh, Deadpool. Deadpool, all right. Yeah. Cool. I think he's going to be in uh, the Suicide Squad movies coming Ryan up. Ryan Reynolds next. is going to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds really cool. That, yeah. uh, people say you look like... Matt Vasquez. <laughs> yeah. Matt Vasquez, yeah. yeah. I think we got that one covered. So. Yeah, no doubt. But that's why I grew up the hair, too. Because yeah, people so congratulate so him after games. <laughs> I was like, man, that's me. That know, was so. me. I did that. Yeah. So. Uh, favorite food? Uh, Mexican food. Okay. Anytime Mexican food is good to right. me. Any uh, particular... I have to say California burritos. Okay, that's probably my favorite dish. Okay, you spent a lot of time up in Miran when you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. I like there it. There you go. Uh, favorite movie. Ooh, for love of the game. Yeah. Kevin Costner. Great movie. Yeah. Uh, favorite TV show. Ooh, uh, right now I'm on Arrow. Okay, I'm watching a lot of Arrow. Yeah, so. I I watched it for like 24 straight hours. Caught myself up to halfway through the season two, and then it wasn't on Netflix anymore, so I got to get. Oh, see, I'm catching. I got to get caught up that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I have no idea what's going on in season oh, okay. three, so that's why I knew when you said Deadpool, I knew what that is. <laughs> um, goal in this sport. Uh, to play at the next level, absolutely. Okay. Get the opportunity to uh, continue my career. Sure, definitely. Um, any. Uh, plans on trying to go back down to your your home area or is it wherever anybody's kind of looking at you or do you, or you like to you know what I mean yeah, yeah um, try, trying to get back to that back down there or you know aspirations to the next level which obviously you know, you'd be totally cool with playing for the Yankees or whatever I'm sure <laughs> yeah so. well I would like to play an organization where they're going to develop me and make me yeah. a better athlete and a better pitcher and sure it's just a better individual as well so right. looking for an opportunity to do that would yeah. be really nice sure uh, currently listening to, oh, I'd have to say Mike Stud, uh, Dreaming. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know who that is. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm old. All this stuff no, goes no, way over my head. I'm going to the concert tonight, so <laughs> Very anybody's cool. going, see you there. Very cool. Up in Des Moines? Yes. Cool. Yes, yes. Uh, if you had a million dollars, what would you buy? I'd have to say buy my parents a house and somewhere nice, you know, somewhere sure. tropical and sure. where they could always go. There you go. Um, if you weren't playing baseball, what sport would you play? I would like to say hockey, but you know those guys are those guys are pretty tough. So. Yeah, very tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, favorite sports hero? Favorite sports hero? I have to say uh, Roy Halladay. Okay, Roy Halladay. Um, person in history you'd most like to meet? Um, so many. I'd have to go with uh, Cy Young. Okay, Cy Young. Very cool. Um, and then finally, your uh, your coach in William Penn put the recruiting hat on. How do you sell a recruit to come to William Penn? Well, basically, the amazing uh, facilities that we have, uh, the strength conditioning, the athletic trainers that we have uh, are amazing here. And just, we got an experienced coach that has over 900 wins. Sure. It's always always good to have a guy that just knows how to win. Yeah. And uh, our, our GAs do an amazing job of just being a player's coach and just making sure that, mm -hmm. you know, you're on track and doing what you're doing. Definitely. 
Um, and actually, finally, talk about the academic side. Um, in case the, the pitching career doesn't go through, hopefully it does, mm -hmm. but always have to have that backup plan. Uh, what is your backup plan? What are you, what are you hoping to do career-wise? I like getting into a business relating to sports. You know, it's always a passion of mine relating sure. with sports and sports marketing. Anything related to that would be really nice. Sure. Very cool. Yeah. All right, Josh. Well, thanks for sitting down for a few minutes with us. Um, go get four against Mount Mercy this weekend. Get Absolutely. back up the, the conference ranking. So, all right. Absolutely. Thanks.